Subscribe to Software Testing Mentor channel, learn latest technologies in software testing, test automation, testing tools, and much more. Hello friends, welcome to Jira Tutorial. In this session, we will learn about versions in Jira software. So before we get started and see the demo, how you can create versions in Jira software, we will understand what exactly a version is and what is the importance of version in any agile development project. So as you know, the, the key uh, fundamental behind an agile development methodology is to have a continuous deployment or continuous releases and get an early feedback from the stakeholders, from the end users who will be using the software. So in order to achieve that, uh, the release manager in your agile project needs to have a streamlined release uh, releases to go through uh, the deployments. So in order to achieve that in Jira software, you can create versions and you can attach the issues or stories or epics in those versions and track the progress of that particular version towards the completion. Once all the stories or all the work uh, that has been assigned for that particular version is complete, then that version can be released into the production and that's that's how it is really helpful for a release manager in any agile project to manage the releases in the Jira software. So to get started, uh, uh, how you can go ahead and create a version, you need to have uh, logged into your Jira software instance. Um, you can try it free for seven days on the cloud or 30 days if you want to deploy on your local machine. So to get started, I have already logged into the Jira software. I'll go to the project and select the project in which you want to create the releases or the versions, and then just scroll down to the versions. Click on the versions link. So you also need to make sure that you have project administrator uh, privileges in order to add releases, right? So I'm at the releases um, section now, so you can just uh, add a releases. So as per the the method or as per the requirement, you can say just uh, um, release 1.0, and then you can provide the start and end date and description. So you can say this is the um, beta release if you want to define or add any des description you can have the start and end date if you actually are aware or you have done all the planning and you know the end date for that particular release and just click on add so you can see that release 1.0 has been added in the list uh, similarly you can add more releases I'll add one more release 1.1 and just click on add, right? So now you can see there are two releases added, 1.0 and 1.1, uh, and there are no issues associated with these releases. So in order to associate the issues, you just need to go back um, to the board. So I'll say MOP board. And if you open any of the issue there, um, So, sorry, I think um, I added the release in another project. So, I'll just, yeah. So, in the MA board, uh, if you see the fixed version, uh, now you can see two of the releases. So, fixed version uh, is available. The releases are available below the fixed version. So, I can choose either 1.0 or 1.1. Uh, depending on the release that this particular issue needs to be assigned to right so you can choose that and just click on the tick box to assign that particular issue to the release so similarly um, a release manager and the project manager will work together to identify the issues that need to be um, deployed as part of particular release and they'll associate all the issues um, 
for that particular release and then that, that those issues will be planned uh, to be part of the release and that, that those will be prioritized uh, pulled out in sprint to be worked on and once all the issues within that particular release are done then that release um, will be taken up by the release manager to be deploy deployed in the production so that is pretty much all about uh, adding versions or release in jira software and what is the relevance of releases in jira or in agile development hope you like the video please um, do like and subscribe. Thank you.